Last week we talked about um, putting on the full armor of God and we started with the helmet of salvation and we worked our way down according to Ephesians 6. And the reason that we do that is because we want to win. We want victory. We want victory over sin. We want victory over death in the end. We want to win. That's why we do it. Well, in um, another book that Paul wrote, in the book of Romans, chapter 8, he talks about um, the ultimate victory. And so I'm going to read it today because sometimes we um, live this life and we don't feel like we're victorious because hard things happen. But Paul's going to put it in perspective. So I'm going to be reading from Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to start in verse 35. And it says, Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, For your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love, no power in the sky or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of Christ, the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Guys, when you reread that, it sounds like the spiritual battle that um, Paul's talking about in Ephesians 6. And he's just encouraging the Christians then and the Christians today that nothing, nothing that happens to us on this earth can separate us from the love of Christ. And we are conquerors. We are conquerors because we win in the end. And so today, the challenge is, if you're in Christ, be encouraged. Just be encouraged. We are conquerors through Him. And um, all the bad things that happen to us, God will use them for His glory. So. That's the challenge. Have a good day.